Hey guys, welcome to Epco. In the last episode of the Spring Boot GraphQL series, we create our first query and the first mutation in two videos, right? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Apollo GraphQL client in the Android side and consume this one of queries we created earlier, right? So Apollo is a you know, type safe GraphQL client that we can use in Android or else in a JVM environment. And uh, they have you know, some kind of very informative doc. So I think this is a uh, good point to start uh, development in gra GraphQL arena, right? So let's look at how to do the things uh, so i'm just i'm going through these steps and show you how to connect with our graphql api we created earlier right so uh something we need to install first is this apollo code gen client right so we need to install this one so let's install it first we need to have node.js installed and npm right so let's so this might take some time i'll fast forward the installation okay guys now we have installed apollo code gen client so let's check that we have the access to it yes we got the version and uh, some details right so i have started our GraphQL backend we created earlier. So if you want to grab it, uh, I have published it in the GitHub repository. So you can go to app code and there's app code GraphQL backend repository and you can clone it, right? So I have this running. So to create stubs or the schema uh, stubs apollo client needs graphql files and json schema file so they have specified how to download the schema using this code gen tool so for that i'm going to copy this one and run it in the powershell So I think we have the schema download. So let's open it here. Here we got the schema file, right? So let's copy that one. And as they have mentioned, let's copy in the source main graphql directory so if we don't have that kind of thing so we can go to project view and open source main java so we don't have graphql directories so let's have graphql directory and paste the schema json file there okay so that's the first step now we need to create the client and create the graphql file right so i need to create a file we can have a look in the postman collection we created earlier to grab the query I'll publish this one in the repository also so you can grab it and have a look. So we have get book query here. So this is the basically query. So we can copy it and paste it here. All right. So as you can see here we don't have you know dollar signs as I see no yeah 
they they have dollar sign so basically the query we need to pass to the endpoint right so now we need to have the dependencies so we need to have json uh, so to do that we need to use the build dot gradle and we have json there we need to have the plugin now right so let's go to there are apple or android page github page uh, github repository and find the latest version right so 32 releases and it's 1.3.2 right so let's sync the project in while it's syncing let's look at how to do the code generation to have apple generate the java classes we need to schema json and graphql file so right right so we need to just sync the uh, gradle i think that is enough so now we need to have the apply this plugin And the build.gradle file in the app directory right? so let's have the plugin apply okay guys we got some error due to gradle version mismatch so we need to have gradle 5.6 or above so let's change the gradle version right. Okay, so it's downloading the latest Gradle version 5.6 and then it should resolve the all issues and you know compile and generate the required Java classes from the schema. So I'll fast forward this process. Okay guys, now configuring is successful and we have under the app task app allow. so let's generate app allow classes All right. so let's run this one Okay guys, now classes are generated sources in the build generator source directory right so we haven't include the apollo dependency here we need to add that one to our build.gradle in the app, app module right so let's add that one as i remember the version is 1.3.2 so let's sync the project so when using apollo client we we have the capability to cache the results so it will improve the usability of the application when there's a limited network resources right so now yeah now it's all good i think now 
it's got compiled so let's close the all the things and go to android view right so then you can have our client created and other things right so we have java generated classes there okay so, so let's have a source directory or oh, else let's use java for the moment i'm not going to use kotlin there so let's create a java class to graph have graphql client right so i'm going to have a copy from this documentation right so basically okay so okay HTTP client is the real HTTP client uh, which is using under the hood right so for the base URL let's have our base URL which is this one right okay so right let's have a public static i'm not going to you know have the proper coding styles and conventions here i'm going just going to you know we have the fab on click listener right so in there let's call the apple client and you know hit the server and get the response right so we need to build the query so first of all let's get the book query okay that's get book correct so get book query okay now okay. need to have builder and then build right so let's have the ISBN because we need that one. Uh, that is this number. Okay, so we have the query, you know, the query, and we need to have use the query and it to have a variable. Query okay. right now, call back of get book query query dot dead right. So we need to have object implement this right and then we need to implement all the methods so these are in kotlin so we need to have an object to implement the these things right so on response we can have this snack bar So we can have the text as response dot data dot um, we can have title there right so get book dot title
okay so i assume that we don't have the exception going on right so basically that's it now actually we can run the application so we need to have to look at our ip first and change it accordingly right so let's save and i think we might get the clear text issue in this one so let's try it out okay guys as i said earlier we got the clear text communication error so let's have the clear text enabled and try this out again now I have added this uh, Android uses clear text traffic true flag and let's try this out again. Okay guys we got this uh, e, e, e access error because we haven't had the users permission flag to internet so let's add that one. And let's try it again. okay guys now it's working so i'll show you in the using src device so it will you know block my voice but i'll show you how to how it, how it's working okay guys now it's working uh, as you see and using this method you can consume any kind of GraphQL endpoint using apple or client right so what you need to do is you need to have this schema file and the schema json file that can be generated by apple or client code gen client and then you need to have dot graphql files for separate queries mutations and so on right so next thing you need to create the graphql client this is very ugly code actually so you need to have singleton graphql apollo client created uh, in the beginning of the application then you can use this this uh, graphql client apollo client then qu query method to query and so on right so i there's mutates and other things that can use with other graphql operations so here i just used the query book query method then uh, using nq we can easily bypass the main thread issues and create the application very easily right so you need to pass this isbn and the several other input variables to the graphql query uh, by passing the uh, different different values to the generated java types right so that's it guys uh, if you found this is helpful please subscribe to our channel so because this kind of uh, tutorial will be published uh, later and um, and you can get idea about how to do these things right so if you like like this video please press the like button and Bye bye guys, ha happy coding.